Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation and explanation of the Rocket Engine Kit Bash Pack that I used to make the SureStrut Engine Pack, which was a mod for Kerbal Space Program. And basically what I did was I had modeled various engines over time, uh, real engines, and I decided to take apart the meshes of those re real engines, retexture them, and then recombine them into new engines. So I would make my own custom engine pack instead of having the real engines. And so this is a blend file uh, for Blender, of course, uh, that presents these 50 meshes that you can use to recombine into your own little engines. They have the various turbo pumps, uh, various chamber and nozzle combinations, and sometimes just the chamber and then you can add a separate nozzle. We've got uh, the sort of extendable style nozzles or the composite style nozzles and then a copper chamber kind of thing going there. Various kinds of turbo pumps and pipage and RCS thrusters as well. These are a little bit hard to see, but there's RCS thrusters of various kinds, uh, mostly based on real things. Uh, some of them very small, but they're all sort of spaced out here and then you bring them to the origin in order to place them, reshape them, and make them into something new. And that's the idea. And it comes with the textures. This is it rendered. Uh, I don't have the normal maps uh, assigned in the, blend, in the Blender file, uh, but I have assigned the base color maps. Uh, there will be normal maps bundled in, in the zip file. And so, yeah, this is basically what it looks like. Uh, ignore the Bezier circle that's used to make the pipage. But we have uh, 12 things called chamber and two quote unquote computers and extension frame. That's if you want the extendable nozzle kind of thing. That's a different kind of frame. That's a lower nozzle, a couple nozzles there. And some pumps and uh, naming that I could have done a better job with. But uh, a bunch of RCS ports and RCS blocks of various types and a little tank. Uh, that I think was from the Prometheus engine. It had a little tank on the side of it. Uh, uh, not exactly for pressurization, so I forget what it was for. Uh, various tubes. I just call them tubes and an upper nozzle and wires. And they all have their materials. Uh, one minor note is that, uh, unfortunately, the uh, material for pump one is pump two. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the names of the actual texture files will be matched to whatever material they're supposed to be. So very clear. Uh, as you can see, um, all together, all the meshes combined have 233,000 vertices. And really any combination that you make uh, out of these to make a rocket engine for say Kerbal Space Program or something like that should fit within the normal Unity sort of budget for a single mesh if you even want to combine it all into one mesh. So anyway, that is what it is. I'm putting it on my Gumroad for one buck and I'm putting it on uh, my art station as well if you don't like to use Gumroad. And Patreon uh, contributors uh, will be getting it just regularly. I haven't really promoted my Patreon because I'd never post anything there. So this is at least something that they get finally. Uh, and hopefully I can post some more, more of my other models as well. I'll try to rearrange them into something uh, more usable like this is, hopefully. Hopefully it is usable. You could take the SureStrut Engine Pack, which is completely free, that is a mod for Kerbal Space Program, and reverse engineer the whole thing and get these parts. Uh, you can certainly do that. Basically, this is just saving you some time, and I assume that it's worth a buck. So that is the idea. And uh, if I see decent reception, I will make sure to produce more little Blender files with a whole bunch of things that you might be needing or might be interested in. So anyway, this is just a sort of test since I already had this available and it was useful uh, in its time and hopefully it'll be useful for everyone else. So that's it. And that's just the introduction. I'll post the links in the video description and hope that it is helpful. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.